Good morning. I'm going to start with this. There we go. For those of you who want to read more about a wider variety of subjects. <clears throat> Good morning. It's Sunday, November 29th. I'm going to talk about teaching at this point. Um, there was a there was a moment in the kiln yard, a uh, kiln hall at Iowa. I was putting stuff away, and nearby Keith Williams, who ended up having a long career and still teaches at um, Concordia in St. Paul, Minnesota just let out this sort of moan of despair and I was like, you okay? And he's like, I just realized I'm going to spend my entire career around bad pots because he was quite intentionally going to be teaching, you know, ceramics one, ceramics two. And it's inevitable when people start, they start with bad pots and, and then you just, you know, get past it. Um, he did fine because of course, perfectly wonderful people make, bad pots um, and you focus on the people and you get past the pots um, there was a point I had a conversation with Mrs. Zirkel where she admitted teaching at Grinnell College that she emotionally needed one good student every two years which is pretty sad I mean she lucked out I'm, not, I'm going to say with me but because I'm not sure I was a good student, but I hung in there. Um, she had a bit of a cluster uh, in the uh, late 70s, early 80s, and so forth. And good student, that, the definition there can be interesting. Um, obviously, you know, when you're teaching in a liberal arts context, you're sort of surprised if someone declares an art major, and even more surprised if they declare a ceramics major, and even more surprised if they go on and get a master of fine arts degree somewhere and she had several through there um, including me <clears throat> uh, but mostly it's you, you want a student that there's that's there on purpose that's gonna work at improving um, that's not just looking for a PUD class and I must admit when I taught at uh, William Jewell I think everybody and my <laughs> all my students were looking for a PUD class something that you know, wasn't going to eat up much time or have much intellectual content. And in my case, they just got the wrong instructor. <laughs> um, it takes time, you know, and you want, you want students who are willing to take the time. Have a good day.